one characteristic of a good theory is that it makes predictions. It becomes even more valid if it explains situations before the fact rather than after the fact. And one of the strongest predictions of this model is that the effect of gravity should vary over the course of cosmological intervals of time. If you look back in the past, there should be evidence of an increased acceleration due to gravity. This is primarily due because objects would be denser and the, and the effect of gravity would therefore be greater. Now, there are two, in this video, we're going to discuss two uh, observational proofs of this fact. One is how it resolves what's called the young or faint young sun paradox. Now, Carl Sagan and George Mellon in 1972 noticed that when the energy output of the sun in the distance past, let's say four or three billion years ago, would be predicted, the amount of energy that would be coming from the sun was about 70% of what the energy from the sun is today. Well, that is not enough energy to keep water liquid. The earth should be entirely frozen. Yet when we look back in the ge geological history, there's evidence of liquid water going back three, four, almost four billion years ago, or ten to the ninth years ago, despite the fact that the sun, based on the, how much prediction is how much energy should be produced from the sun, is so much less that everything should be frozen solid. However, in the proposed model, if the effect of gravity is more powerful in the past, there would be a, a vastly greater increase in amount of energy output from the sun. For example, roughly when the universe, according to the model, when the universe was about one-third its present age, the accelerative field associated with the gravity would be about five times greater due, due to the density increase. So the energy output increases rather dramatically. Now this also helps resolve one of the other issues as to it gets even more compounded when we consider the evidence of water on Mars. Now the evidence of water on Mars is pretty conclusive. We can see signs of erosion associated with streams. We can see small ponds. We can, you know, the, as the, the, the types of materials are left behind or materials that have been exposed to water and water has evaporated, uh, as we spend more and more time exploring Mars, the evidence of water on Mars is pretty conclusive. But this presents a problem. Mars is even further away from the sun than is the Earth. Roughly, let's say, a quarter of the amount of energy. So it's not getting anywhere near as hot from the source of energy of the sun. Plus, if we add, compound the issue with the young sun uh, paradox, faint young sun paradox, the, the issue becomes even more puzzling. How could you possibly ever have water on Mars? Well, again, if the sun put out more energy, this would resolve this problem. One other little side interesting benefit, Mars itself presently has uh, about a little more than a third the effect of gravity on the surface. The surface gravity is too small or weak to hold on to an atmosphere. We go on Mars, it's very sparse, very, very thin atmosphere, but which poses a problem. How could you've ever had an atmosphere thick enough to actually support rain clouds, because in order to have streams, you have to have, have, have to have it had rain. How do you get these kinds of denser atmospheres? Well, in the past, when Mars was denser, according to the model, it would be the effect of gravity would have been greater. It would have been much easier for Mars to hold on to an atmosphere. In fact, as Mars, the, the effect of gravity is reduced over the course of time, Mars lost its ability to hold on to its atmosphere. And similarly, if we think about our own Earth, over the course of time, Earth too should lose its ability to hold on to its atmosphere in a far, far distant future. Well, those are first two predictions. There are more evident, there's more evidence of this increased effect of gravity, which I'll go through in the next two set of videos. Thank you again for your time.